everyone welcome back for more exo series content in this video we're going to discuss what heroes to prioritize or invest in but it's important to note that these are merely my opinion and eventually will depend on the heroes that you have available in your roster so i had this guide in mind because i've seen players ask me on which heroes to build so leveling up requires resources such as scrolls tomes copies of other heroes crystals and fragments equipment and especially your gold heroes in this guide will be categorized by element so important content to note that is element dependent so we have your chapters challenges core raid holy dragon grounds embodiment of avarice but before that if you want to see more exo series content please hit the subscribe button down below here we will start with our fire heroes so please take note for each element um, I'll be discussing the top three, but I'll also be posting in the comment section, the pin section, the other heroes that you can prioritize just in case you have uh, you you don't have these heroes on my screen. So we'll start with FC Annie. So FC Annie is um, is more important than her regular form because of her uh, the changes of her skills basically and she is more or less very very potent right now especially in pvp so you can use annie in pvp and in the pve content that i mentioned earlier the next that i will discuss would be fc brook so fc brook um also should be in her fc form because her original form is like I'm, I'll to describe it as average. So FC Brook right now is very good in the PvP content uh, as well as FC Annie. And also for FC Rachel, um, recently we've seen an increase in the use of FC Rachel because of his speed and because of also of the utilities that he gives to the team. So also for Rachel, you will be needing his fc form as well so the other fire units that uh, or fire heroes that you, sh you should consider if you don't have these three are scarlet maggie and zeon so fc zeon actually you can put him on the top three it's just that um i'm looking at um heroes that have more or less an all-around uh, utility to them and more or less in terms of usability uh, Zeon has dropped a bit in terms of where he was when first guardians were out so I will stick to this top three for my fire heroes so next is our frost heroes so we'll begin with FC Anastasia FC Anastasia is still an all-around utility in terms of in terms of clearing out content for PvE and recently has dropped uh, her usage in PvP. But um, you always uh, uh, need her for her healing and you, al you always need her for, for, for the wrath damage that she, that, that she brings for counter. So uh, try to develop your FC Anastasia if you have her. The next um, of, of the top three Frost is FC Lepin. So FC Lepin is here because she is one of the top revivers and healers of the game. So she can be used in the content, in PV, PvE content. Um, she's very good in your chapter chapters 11 and chapter 12. So she's a very versatile um, reviver and she can be used as well in your PvP tag. Uh, for your second and third team. And our number one Frost hero that you should uh, prioritize is of course uh, Battery, FC Battery. By the way, for FC Battery, you don't need to get her FC. Um, her regular form is, is pretty much good already. But before that, um, the other uh, frost heroes that you can prioritize if you don't have these on your team are Degas, Bernadette, and Karina. Karina is good for your Holy Dragon Grounds. That is why I included her here. So for your nature heroes, um, here are my top three. 
first you have um, Tantalo. So Tantalo is here because mainly of dot damage and and the buffs that that he gives to your team and the buffs on the other side as well as hard strike um Tantalo for her for his regular form is not really being used uh, because you need to have his passive for his FC so Tantalo is right now one of the top PvP heroes and also for PvE for chapters 11 and chapter 12. The next would be Junai. Uh, Junai here uh, is actually being used right now for, for, for chapter 12. Um, she can be used together with Tantalo or she can be used without Tantalo because she also has her own dot damage and she enhances your team speed as well. That is why she is right now being used in a lot of PvE content and she is climbing the ladder uh, for PvP for now. The last one for nature is Rera. So Rera has been a staple for the past few months for PvP. So and also she is good also in clearing uh, clearing PvE content. Uh, because of her for of her AOE for S2, and um, she also has her first Guardian Wrath for her counter as well. So if you don't have these heroes, um, other alternatives for other heroes for nature is you can also um, prioritize Rudley. You can also prioritize Kaya. Kaya is a healer for and is a rare. And you could also prioritize the new character Naomi for as, as, as one of your defenders. So our next is your machine heroes. So for your machine heroes, um, we'll start with Deva. So Deva right now has been and has been actually even before one of the most potent uh, or fastest uh, assassins in the game. Especially because she has an AoE and a single high damage skill so deva right now is being used in the pvp and she's very good in pve content as well the next staple is is ulum fc ulum because um fc ulum can break random guard stones so it's very good in your pve contents uh especially in your chapters 11 and 12 and also in other other content that breaks garden stones um she has a, a slip a little bit in terms of usage in pvp but she is one still one of the most important heroes to level up if you have her so if you have her original form um you it's 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 already good that you have her original form you don't really have to upgrade to her fc um also, but for Deva, I'll go back to Deva. I forgot to mention that for Deva to be more effective, you have to get her FC form. And the last one, which is Dorka. So Dorka has been a new entry for Machine Heroes. She is valued for her mana supply. She is also valued for her dot. And she is valued for her healing, for team healing. So Dorka right now is in the top teams in pvp and she provides damage over time uh, to, to pve content such as um, let's say for example chapter i think chapter 11 and uh, the other content as well that requires uh, that requires you to break gardens other heroes that you can prioritize is baraka morris uh, morris with his fc form and Mirti. Mirti here is a rare hero which provides AoE stun. So Mirti is being used in the in your PvE content if you're clearing stages or chapters. So for your light heroes, there, there aren't there aren't much light heroes that are good. Uh, so let's talk about the top three. So number one that you have here is FC Garbs. So even without 
her FC form, Garp is, is, is very good already. So the next would be FC Iris. And FC Iris is one of the top uh, PvP heroes that's being used right now. In terms of usage rate, she's the top. Because she provides two mana and if you, and you can spam her S1 every third for two mana. So without her FC form, she only gives one mana per turn for her S1. And the third one in in your light heroes is Metron. Metron is valued because of his reflect damage and he also gives mana to your team. So again, for light heroes, you don't have that many good light heroes. So the other heroes that you can prioritize for other light heroes if you don't have them are Sernando, Pyrrhus, and April. So next is our darkness heroes. So you have um, Adams or FC Adams. Adams is actually good already, even if he doesn't have his FC form. But with but with his FC form, you get an additional passive skill for Heart Strike for the Banga family. So he is a good hero for again for complete for in your PvP as as part of your tag teams, probably your third team or your second team. And he is good in clearing content for PV. Our next would be Ramji. Ramji is actually a new a new entry in terms of PvP. He's being used frequently now in terms of uh, PvP battles in, in the top PvP decks. And he also is good in terms of PvE content because he is he has a dot AoE skill. And lastly, we have Shufraken. So Shufraken right now or before was really used in pvp he was really frequently used until such time that that um signature force was really abundant in the meta so right now he's still being used in pvp but not um as one of the top heroes anymore but he's really really viable because i'm still using him uh, as one of my heroes in my pvp if you don't have these heroes on my screen the other heroes that you can prioritize are Hylock, Sharpe, and Cipher for Darkest Heroes. Anyway guys, so if you have any comments, disagreements, or agreements with what I just presented, so please let me know. This concludes the video on what heroes you need to prioritize and what heroes you need to level up it's actually important that you need to know who to level up so that you don't waste your resources so let me know what you think again and you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video Party out